Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm replying today to a, uh, um, a reply I got to a post I made on Energy News um, on the Energy News website. Uh, somebody posted that gamma rays could not be picked up by Geiger counters. They totally disagreed with me. And of course I disagree with them because obviously Geiger counters can pick it up. But you know, forget obvious. I'm going to prove it because it's more important for me to prove something than for me just to say it is or quote some website or say that some expert told you or whatever. I'll prove it because that, that's that's really the best thing to do these days. Nobody ever proves anything. They just like, you know, say stuff. So let me let me prove it. All right. I have three Geiger counters in front of me. International. Um, here's the International Medcom CRM100. This is a um, SE International Inspector EXP Plus. That right there is hardcore good stuff, and it's been recently recently calibrated. And an old uh, uh, Victorine model uh, CDV 706 uh, 6A, definitely a Geiger counter. Look at this thing; it has a beta shield, and the point of the beta shield was to block beta and allow only gamma into it. So that's sort of tells you right off the bat that gamma is important. There's the beta shield. But anyhow, we'll close the beta shield in just a minute and run it without. Now this thing on the back, as you can see if you look at it, actually says right off the bat, alpha, beta, gamma, x-ray. And x-rays and gammas are the same thing, they're just photons. The difference is that gamma rays come from the nucleus of an atom, x-rays come from the electrons of an atom. A beta a particle is a, um, a piece of energy that's in a particular quantum configuration such that it is approximately equivalent and analogous to a beta, beta uh, to a uh, electron. Simplistically speaking, beta particle is a electron, more or less, or a positron if it's a beta plus. And it's also accompanied with by a neutrino or an antineutrino. And of course an alpha particle is a helium nuclei, two protons, two neutrons. You get the idea. Basic uh, nuclear physics. Okay. So anyhow, let's turn them on. Well, they're on, but let's let's test. First up on the list are two gamma, I have two gamma emitters. All right, here is a calibrated cesium-137 uh, uh, source. It says 0 0.101 microcarry, which boils down to 3,737 3, decays per second. This is both beta and gamma. So what we're going to do is turn it upside down where the source is strongest. I'll show you that it detects, but then I'll put the lead over the top. And the reason is this. There is no beta that's making it through this much lead. I mean, theoretically speaking, occasionally one will. But the only thing that's going to go through that lead is going to be gamma and any secondary x-rays created as a result of the beta interaction with the lead. In either case, if I pick up gamma or x-ray, I prove my point. Now, first off, let's see if they work. Sound on? Hmm. You know, I could have gotten the lighting a little better, couldn't I? Yeah, CRM100 is really not that amazingly sensitive. Oops, I cut it off and cut it back on again. Okay, next up on the list, proving they all work, is the Inspector uh, EXP Plus. Obviously, it works. Okay, and next up on the list after that, let's move you out of the way, is the um, CDB 700. We'll put it on times 10. As you can see, it's working. Hands a little shaky tonight. Like I ate dinner, so I'm kind of a little shaky. I haven't had any. I've had like caffeine all day long and no food, so I'm a bit shaky. Okay, but anyhow, you get the points. They all work. Now, let's prove some stuff. We know this is a Geiger counter. There's no contesting in anybody's mind that this is a Geiger counter. It has a Geiger Mueller tube. You can see it right there. Okay. Now, let's hold this in my legs while I close the beta shield. There we go. Now, we take this, put it somewhere where we can see it, and hold on a second, is my check source on that side? Yes it is. Okay, let's not put it on that side, let's put it on this side, so there's no check source. Don't want a check source, because that like clouds the, the whole thing. Okay, now let's put the lead over top. This is not going to be very effective, because the thing is you already notice isn't particularly sensitive anyway. Let's put it over and see if we pick up anything. Apparently we're picking up something, and we're picking up more than background. Not much in this old thing. Well, let's move the sample away and see what we pick up without it. Virtually nothing. Is 
sample back. God, this thing is so inefficient. We'll try it in a minute with the European 152. It'll do a better job. Old. Anyway, it's a good unit, but, you know, seen better days. All right, next up, another Geiger Mueller tube. This one's, like, infinitely more sensitive. Here, as you can see, is a model LND 70, 7317 Pancake Geiger Mueller tube. Straight up, no question, definitely a Geiger counter. Well, apparently it's reading something, and I doubt it's a beta particle. No way it's going through that much lead. No way. What about... Let's look at the Europium 152. This is Europium 152. It's ten times as strong as the cesium-137 I just showed you. It is 37,730 whatever uh, Beck rolls, give or take. Okay. This goes nuts when it's anywhere near it. So now let's put a top on it and see what happens. Now let's wait a second until this calms down. It's kind of pegged out. In fact, we'll move it out of the way and let it relax. Almost done. All right, so here's the Geiger counter again. It's turned on. Here is your opium. Is that your opium 152? Get samples flying all over the place. No, that's easy 137. Here we go. There we go. Your opium 152, right? Yep. Put that over top. Oh crap! That went off the off the scale. Let's go to times 10. That was definitely not a beta particle. What could it be? Oh wait, that's right, gamma. Now, next up on the list, CRM100. This is ironically an interesting little comparison of each of these goofy things. Picks it up just fine, doesn't it? <laughs> so I'm noticing that the um, gammas are picking up quite well. Oh, it's time for the in uh, inspector now. Good God. What happens if I take this, which doesn't have anything on it, and then now we have an extra piece of lead. And we'll put it in between. Still going right through it. Well, you know it's not a beta particle. So that was what we like to call ipso facto proof. As you can see, oops, shaky hand. As you can see, it picks it up like a champ. Now the problem here, a lot of people have mistaken this. Geiger counters have different efficiencies for picking up different radionuclides and isotopes and stuff. Basically put, a Geiger counter's ability to pick up a gamma ray is usually a little bit less than 1% to maybe 3 or 4%, maybe as much as 5 at the best. So they're not very good at picking up gamma rays, but they pick them up just fine. They just don't pick up very many. For every 100 that are released, they only pick up 2 or 3. But when thousands are being released, they can pick them up just fine. They're best with beta. They pick up anywhere from 20 to as much as 40% of beta. So for every 100 beta particles that go in, they pick up, you know, uh, 30, 40, 50 of them. And then they're so-so with alpha particles. They'd probably pick them up much better, but for the fact that they can't get through the little tiny thin coatings in the front very well. And that, of course, is a factor of the, of the um, ionization of alpha of uh, um, air when alpha particles move through it's so fast and so potent. So anyway, these are both fully calibrated sources. They're top of the line, um, non-NRC licensed samples, basically about as good as you can get. And, um, well, that's professional grade. That's kind of like amateur grade. And, well, that's just awesome. So there you go. Proof. Proof, I say. Proof. But anyway, if more proof is required, I can always whip out the physics books that just say what I just said. But I figured it would be cooler to show you proof, okay? So there you go. As you can see, it picks up beta, picks up gamma. This has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and bye-bye.